Hello everybody, this is Sidetrack with a quick look at casting uh, from MDIO's Mod Tinker's Construct. First thing we're going to do is you're going to take three aluminum, one copper, throw them in your smeltery. This is going to make you aluminum brass. Uh, conversely, you can use gold. The choice is really yours. Uh, next thing you're going to do is you're on your stencil table, stencil table you're going to take a blank pattern and you're going to make whatever patterns required by the part that you're gonna or your tool that you're gonna make. We are gonna make a pickaxe head, so I need a stone binding, I need a stone pickaxe head, and I need a stone rod. You're gonna take these three parts over to your smeltery and on your um, casting tables you're going to put each of these parts. Once your aluminum brass is melted and made, you're going to right click on each of the faucets and that will dump aluminum brass onto each of these parts. That's going to get you your pickaxe head cast, your tool binding cast, and your tool rod cast. You're going to take these over to wherever you have your molten metals, and look, I've got all these laid out. Uh, and then you're going to right click on these faucets. Now most people are going to have these actually in their smelteries, but you can also store things in um, glass this way. Um, just for note, this is Molten Obsidian, Molten Cobalt, and Molten Ardite. Um, obsidian you can actually cut like uh, you used to be able to, but I like doing it this way. Uh, and just like before, you're going to make your pickaxe. Well, you can put it that way. Um, you can name it whatever you want. And there you go. Hopefully that helps out uh, any questions you might have about the new casting system. Uh, this is Sidetrack signing off. Have a great day, folks.